Good morning guys! So today is Saturday and I decided I will bring you to work with me. Sorry, I'm like trying not to fall on my face because it's so icy and freezing outside. But I will be taking you to work with me to the store, the bridal store. So where I was at, today is Saturday and on Saturdays is our busiest day in the store. Um, so I actually have two girls working today. So they will be actually on the floor with the brides and then I have to take care of a lot of things on the back end of things. We have um, seven appointments today. We have dress up pickups. We also have a trunk show that's going on today. It's the last day. So then afterwards we need to pack everything up so the designers are able to come and but we'll ship them out to them. Um, and then we also have someone coming in at the end of the day to pick out a dress for a styled shoot that is tomorrow. So it's a busy, busy day, but it's gonna be so much fun and I'm excited to bring you guys along because I've been getting a lot of questions about the business and I kind of like to keep it a little bit more private, but I thought I could show you the basics. Obviously, I will not be showing you any brides because it's like the top secret of your life to not show your dress, but I can show you around the store and what I do as a business owner and a bridal store owner. So, yeah. It's about approximately one hour before we open and what I usually do is I get here earlier and I double check when our first appointments are. I double check any notes that they might have, like their price points, their sizing, anything specific. Um, write that down, make sure the store is all clean, make sure the water is boiling, make sure my, <laughs> my sales staff is looking nice. <laughs> Do you want just a latte? What do you want? What do you require <laughs> to function? Do you want latte though? Yeah. Anything fancy? Do you want some gold? Rainbows? Mm -hmm. I don't see these cute rainbow ones and I don't want that packed Okay, I'll get you a rainbow one. Try to be ready by the time I'm back so we can do headshots real quick, okay? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm almost ready. Okay, no. Gonna go get some coffee from my girls so they have a lot of energy. Ooh, it's freezing outside. The benefits of working downtown is everything is in walking distance, which is really nice. It's important. Okay, so this. This entire bag is Giovanna Alessandra. We only have it until the end of the day today. Mm -hmm. And then we just pack it up and send it out. So if somebody wants to purchase something, it's today, basically or never. They are also pretty small sizes, so just keep in mind, like this one is a size four. Okay, yeah, so it's very small. small. Wow. Just keep that in mind um, when you're like, do their sizes just order. run small or is that just what they? It's just for the trunk show because they usually have models wearing them. Um, that's why they're a little bit small. Some of them, like this one, would be a little bit more stretchy, you know, something like this. And then the prices on them, our original prices, we are offering 10% off, just because it's an event, so only on the slides. We can't offer any discounts on anybody else, but this line says 10% off today. Um, I have the size chart for it, and then anything that has this blush color, it can come in a white white. So like this Esther one can come in like um, the ones in detachable trains, the price is together. We don't sell them separately right now. 
they are very for a bride. Came in not too long ago, so I'm prepping it, filling out the paperwork they came in. We gotta steam it, prep it, and then call her to let her know her dress is in. wrap up with that one this dress right here it came in yesterday yep so if you want to find her file and then write her name on the little tag if it's not there and then steam it okay was this her little... first stop or no this was her very first stop okay okay so maybe that might be it too because during the right. first stops your goal is to narrow down the silhouette yeah and um price point if they don't have one and just the overall what she likes, what she doesn't like. Mm -hmm. we, Which I think we've shockingly figured that out fairly fast. That's why I always start with like just trying out different silhouettes first mm -hmm. and, near, and then narrowing down the dresses. Okay, so the girls are busy with their appointments. We actually have like a full house in there right now. <laughs> and I have to do taxes. I just need to prepare everything for a tax lady, run the numbers from last year, do all of that. And it also gives me a really good idea of like which lines are performing better than the other ones, which ones are better at sales than the other ones, and then potentially think of the ones that you might discontinue or might change or swap for other designers. I also look at dresses that perform better than the others, look at trends, look at which silhouettes, which styles, and things like that are doing better than the others. So then for the buying season, which we will be going on a buying trip, I will be in April, I will be able to make educated decisions on what is performing well in our demographic. So, gotta start doing taxes. This is our box of paper sales. I also have everything on my computer, but I like to work on paper for this, for sales. So I'm gonna be adding things up, seeing what works best, and it's kind of a good review of our year in sales of 2019, which is only our second second year. We opened in June 2018. June 2018. Yeah. Yeah. So this is our basically second year running, which is exciting and we're doing well. So I'm gonna run through this, do the paperwork. Um, and once the girls finish up their two appointments, we do have a pickup. I usually like to go out for my pickups, especially if I was the one that was a consultant for the brides, just to kind of, you know, finish up the appointment and like wish them well and hug them and just see them in their dress. It's always exciting. It's kind of like the final step to our business, which is fun. Um, and then once we wrap up all the appointments, so we close at five, but that trunk show that we have, we have to send it out today. So we're gonna have to be packing up all of those dresses and sending them out. And usually when we close, we have like a little, we wanna try on the dresses, we can. So it's my motivation to get through this. Do you have them in front of you? Yeah. Hello, thank you for calling my darling. How can I help you? Okay. Yes. I'm pretty sure she's a zero because it's she's like an inch to two and inches under for, each. This is Giovanna Alessandra, right? Okay. So, so oh. for Novius, she would probably be. Let's pull it up. Because they're different size charts. Um, so if she wants to get the Pernovius one, she will be. I have it on the iPad. Do you just want to bring the iPad over? Yeah. Thanks. Because if it's a little snug on her hip, it's always better to go up a size. Right. Yeah. So she could sit. So, and is it a strapless dress? No, it has a... Uh, Dante? Dante strapless, yeah. Sorry, I was thinking yeah. the other one. Yeah, so it would be for strapless. So she's a 30, so she'll be about a, below that waist measurement. 20, oh my gosh, she's tiny. 
Yeah, so she would be a zero. Mm -hmm. So let me check what the delivery status is on zero. Okay, so we wrapped up our day. Now this trunk show right here has to be sent out. So we're gonna bag up the dresses with the girls, put them in the boxes, and then we're free to go. Um, I'm also gonna be placing the orders that we made from today. So they're nice and done because we are closed Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That is all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you learned something new. So that is the end of my Saturday work week. We close at five o'clock on Saturdays. Didn't have anybody stay late today, which is awesome. Had a really good day with the girls. Tallied up all of our things, almost none of my taxes. We reached our goal, we beat last year, which is awesome. Super good. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Now it's a little different. If you want to see more content like this or if you have questions about bridal or in your business, I am really open to answering them just because when I was in the journey of opening my business, there was literally nothing on the internet at all. How to open a coffee shop? Sure. How to open a bridal store? Not at all. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye. I'm so